So th this piece is really about you know, nature study and providing a way for us to engage with nature, you know, the greater world. Um, so this is like a conduit into that. Really, you know, it's sort of like an outcome of years of tests and uh, prototypes. And I made a, uh, I made a model based on that of, of that system, which is these, this one here. So this is balsa wood and um, big chopstick and various uh, things from around the workshop. And you know, it, it roughly works with how the, the the piece works up on the on the terrace. It's a, it's a challenging site um, architecturally to you know, design a sculpture for because we have some big major icons here. Um, I don't want to say compete with, but you know, sort of um, complementary structures around here. Um, so I've used rivets in here and large kind of structural elements that really have to be like that to cope with this environment. Is it, is it an extreme and harsh environment here? Even though we've got everyone drinking Aperol spritz and enjoying themselves, I've got to remember that marine environments are tough, you know. So one of the great things about um, activities like kite flying is that it really gives you a focus onto the sky. Like if you've ever flown a kite, part, a lot of the fun is actually watching the kite move with the background of the clouds and the sky. And this work functions a bit like that as well. Like there's a aspect of this where you just have to enjoy watching the pieces move against the sky so you actually get to really notice the clouds and the incredible beauty of those and you see the tail dancing around against you know the ever-changing background but then if you look down to see the drawing you know that is drawing things that are a bit like some of these stringy interesting clouds and the different shapes that you might see created by wind and nature I've actually invented a whole new system for this particular project, which is a, a double swivel mechanism here. So I made a small prototype in my studio and had it tested outside in the backyard. And basically um, has two swivels here, giving a, a degree of chaos motion to the pen or the, to the graphite, which is on the marble. So instead of just drawing a loop, which echoes this circuit, it can, work on the second orbit which creates a chaotic motion because you never know where that's going to be and combined with the the two mechanisms up the top you've got basically a three-axis machine that is unpredictable. Mm -hmm. 